here with another installment from the This Could Be You series. I haven't done one in a while, and right now I'm feeling love, so this is something that I very rarely talk about on this channel. You know, outside of the cheating and the affairs that's going on, maybe we can pull something from some of my lovebirds out there. Okay? So let's see. <clears throat> Burning Universe, what are the messages that you have for my love birds out there? As of right now, uh, what are some of the things that they're going through? What are some of the lessons that they're learning when it comes to love? Give me some messages. new thing. I don't know what the hell was going on with it. Okay. All right, guys. Sorry about that. Two, one, three. All right. So let's see what the cards say. First card out is the Ten of Coins. The Page of Swords. The Queen of Wands. The King of Coins. All right, so we got fire and earth here right now. Then we have the Ten of Wands <clears throat> and the Knight of Coins. Under the Ten of Coins, we have the Ace of Wands. Under the Page of Swords is the Five of Swords. Under the Queen of Wands is the Five of Cups. Under the King of Coins is the King of Wands. Under the Ten of Wands is the Three of Wands. And under the Knight of Coins is the Seven of Coins. Okay. Let's see your raw advice that you have for the client. Or maybe I should have said spectators because you guys are spectating. The Knight of Swords. And the Six of Coins. Driven to take care of the karmic ties. Okay. So give me two seconds to look over this and I'll be back with your reading. Alright guys, I had to find something else because that slow ass music is not working for me. Forgive this little spot right here. I tried to put some lotion on and it fell down and my nails are fucking horrible and I know it. And it's okay because I want to go get my nails done today. It's still early. It's like 2.30 and I have time, but I had a death in my family, guys, and I'm, I'm just really going through it at this time, so I don't know if I'll get out to get my nails done. If not, so what? As long as you get your message, right? So we're just going to vibe to these instrumentals in the background and just let it flow. <laughs> okay, just in case you forgot or you took a break with me. We have the Ten of Coins, the Ace of Wands, the Page of Swords, the Five of Swords, the Queen of Wands, the Five of Cups, the King of Coins, the King of Wands, the Ten of Wands, the Three of Wands, the Knight of Coins, the Seven of Coins, and then for the advice, we have the Knight of Swords with the Six of Coins. Now, if you don't know already, then the coins represent the pinnacles, okay? Things that are tangible, things that are here in the physicality. Um, something that you could actually hold on to. What is wrong with you, Bella? Okay, my puppy's going crazy. Anyway, <clears throat> so I took a break off and I wanted to look at this reading and I said, okay, what could this reading possibly mean for those that are out there? Those that are in situations. Talk to me. Okay. And what I see here is, I'm going to be honest, 
there is a fire sign out there, one of you. Um, you may be a Sagittarius, you may be an Aries, you may be a Leo. Okay. What I do see is that one of these individuals you're involved with, you're either involved with a Capricorn or Taurus, or you're involved with a Leo or Sagittarius. Okay. Bella, really? I mean, you're going to bite that bone like so loud and interrupt my call. My puppy's so loud. Okay, anyway. And her name is Bella, like mine's guys. And I did not name her. Okay. Actually, it was one of my clients that named her. And as a gift, she gave me a shorty puppy. Maybe I'll show her one day when she's not being bad. And she's not biting her nail polish off her nails and shit. Anyway. She's a short key, just in case you guys want to know. Okay. So, like I said, one of you guys are involved with one of these individuals. I don't know who it is. Okay. You, you're the only one that knows who you're dating because I'm, I'm reading to a mass amount of people. Okay. But what I do know is that this is your moment. Right now, this is your moment. Okay. Um, whoever you may be. I feel like some of you have gotten the opportunity to uh, get involved with someone other than your partner. So either your partner is a Leo or Sagittarius, or your partner is uh, Capricorn or Taurus. This music keeps stopping, so fuck it. Okay, we're just not even going to rap with it tonight, today, this afternoon, whatever. Okay, we're just going to flop. All right. So I have my uh, master's deck here, and I'm going to use that for clarification. But anyway, okay, let's talk about it. Some of you are involved with a partner for a long time, okay? Leo, Sagittarius, uh, Taurus, Capricorn, okay? One of these individuals is your significant other, your partner of a long time. The Ten of Pentacles comes up against the Ace of Wands because it's kind of uh, letting me know that you have an opportunity to move forward with a soulmate, um, this person could be a life partner. It could also be a twin flame, okay? Now, a lot of times when I see the Ten of Coins going up against the Ace of Wands, then I know that there's a spark of an attraction that may have happened between a life partner or a twin flame. I like to keep it right there, okay? But the thing about it is this. <clears throat> Some of you are dating these people, and they are actual karmic soulmates, all right? So what am I saying to you? Okay, fire signs. You've been here long enough, whoever your partner is. By now, you should have cleared out your karmic energy, you should have um, packed your bags and you should be on your way out the door, okay? Especially if you want to meet this other individual, all right? You should be literally ready to move out the door, okay? And not just pick up and move while you're in a relationship. I'm talking about your karmic energy between that long-term partner that you've been involved with should be wrapped all up, okay? But the problem is, you know, I get a lot of people to say, why am I single, they say they're single when they're in a relationship with someone. How in the fuck can you be single, Linda? Okay, if you have somebody on your side, you have somebody that you cuddle up with or you have the opportunity to cuddle up with, then you're not single, okay? But for those of you that are completely single, okay, and you don't have a partner, then you have something to work out with either a Leo, a Sagittarius, or a Capricorn or Taurus, okay? That energy needs to be worked out before you can go after the other. All right. Now, who is this going to pertain to? Well, this is going to pertain to Aries and Sagittarius more than anything, more than Leo. Okay. Now, Leo may be the other individual that you're vying for their attention, or it could be a karmic phase that you need to get through before you can move forward with this partner. Okay. But I don't really see Leo being in this situation where they have to make a decision. Maybe Aries definitely, because I have that king of coins here. Now, the king of coins could be your twin flame. It could be your life partner. All right, especially if you're Aries, okay? However, before you can make it to this person, you got a, a partner that um, you were with in the past, okay? Some of you might have children with this individual. Some of you might not. It might just be your ex-boyfriend, your ex-girlfriend, okay? And they're a Leo or a Sagittarius, all right? And you haven't completely cut your ties. But this Five of Cups being here definitely represents to me that you have two Fives that are next to each other, the Five of Swords and the Five of Cups. This is a situation to where if you're not cheating, it is still coming off as cheating to spirit. So 
here you are, you may be single, may have been single for five years, six years, they haven't had anybody, okay? But the problem is, you still cheat, and why do you cheat? Okay, well, you could be holding on to the past love of an ex, okay? And that person, if you're Aries or uh, Sagittarius, that person may be a Leo or a Sagittarius, okay? And you may be holding on to the love that you once had, all right? Remember, Bella, please. This is so, so loud, baby. You're so loud. Like, literally. What's wrong? Anyway. <clears throat> I don't know where it's at, Bella. Um, so you might be holding on to the past love of a partner that, um, the one that got away. Well, at least you think he's the one that got away or she's the one that got away. In all actuality, they're not the one that got away. They are um, an individual that you carry karmic energy with, karmic ties with, that you need to dissipate. Okay? So here comes this fine brother or sister. They come in and they're ready to love you. And you don't have no room on your plate to love this individual because you haven't took, taken care of that uh, past relationship, that past life relationship okay and a lot of people always say to me well Bella you know I haven't been with this person in many years why do you say I'm karmically connected to him well you're karmically connected to him you have the five of cups maybe they did you wrong in a certain way maybe they cheated on you maybe you cheated on them and you don't forgive yourself or you don't forgive them one or the other it's going to be one or the other okay so how do you get through that energy let's talk <clears throat> let me try to get comfortable Linda Slowly as fucking chair. Anyway, okay. How do you clear up the karmic energy with someone that you haven't seen in many years? This person is nowhere to be found. Maybe that person moved on, got married, uh, moved across town, and you don't have the opportunity to actually get involved with them. Clearing up karmic energy is not necessarily getting back with the other person. It's more so uh, a plan that you have to come up with to forgive them. Okay, so whatever they did to you, you're going to have to uh, kind of imagine that situation all over again, reenact it, and then you're going to have to forgive them for whatever happened, okay? Or forgive yourself, because it's not always them, sometimes it's you, all right? Maybe it was a situation to where you were dealing with um, a Capricorn or Taurus, okay? And they were cheating on you, okay, with the Leo or Aries, right? Or vice versa. Okay. Um, and you've never forgiven that person. So, you know, the five of cups is a card of sitting back and remembering the times and you're all bent out of shape and you're trying to get back with this lover and, 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 you know, it's well past this expiration date and you're still waiting on them to call you. You've texted them a million times. They haven't texted you back and you heard they got a girlfriend or they got a wife and you're still holding on waiting for someone that is supposed to be uh, done and over with, okay? Because I get a lot of people to do that. You know, you're waiting on your ex-husband, your ex-girlfriend. You broke up and they hurt you real bad and, and you can't move forward because you're too busy thinking about what they've done to you. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, you got a soulmate, a life partner, twin flame that's trying to get in and they can't get in because your plate's not clean because you're still remembering when uh, Johnny, Bruce, uh, Kevin, or whoever hurt you, Okay? This is a problem. This is a very big epidemic that is going on in our community. And then people get frustrated with me and they say, Bella, you don't never have anything for singles. Yes, I have everything for singles. The problem is, when are you going to let go of that guy that left you two years ago? Or the person that you haven't seen six months, <clears throat> three months? Okay, when are you going to let go so that you can have room to offer, you know, uh, the rest of what's left of your heart to this individual? Okay, so it's, it's not about me always talking about couples. Chances are, if you are single, it's probably because, especially for a long time, you're probably tied karmically to another individual or the sad news is that maybe you're a twin <clears throat> and the twin is actually in the middle of ascension and the twin is learning some very valuable lessons and you being in a relationship would affect the twin. Okay, I get a lot of that as well. Actually, I'm in that situation. Okay, so I can't just go out there and start dating someone 
um, right now because my twin is in the middle of a very difficult lesson for the both of us to learn. Okay, now his lesson may be to learn um, how to stop taking things for granted. And my lesson on the other end may be to learn how to do everything independently and not depend on him. You see how that works? So spirit could have you single for a number of things. You have to hook up with me for personal reading. And I can tell you that in a personal reading. Okay, because everybody's single for a different reason. Okay, and like I said, I, I really can't beat these cards because there are some of you that have an ex that you're, you know, having memories about and it's a fire sign, Leo Sagittarius, and others of you have an ex that is a Capricorn Taurus, okay? You're a fire sign. The ones that I'm talking to are fire signs, okay? So don't mix it up. Don't say that I'm speaking directly to a Capricorn or Taurus because I'm not. I'm speaking directly to a Aries a Sagittarius or a Leo, period. That's it. Okay. I'm not speaking to anyone else. Now, if you are a Capricorn and you've been on and off for a lot of years with uh, a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, then this could be you. Okay. But I don't like when you guys switch it all up because you confuse yourself. Don't confuse yourself. I get a lot of readers that clients will come in and say, okay, well, I am a Leo. But I show up in the cards as a Sagittarius. Or I'm a Leo and I show up in the cards as a Capricorn. If Capricorn or Sagittarius is not your rising sign, then you're not going to show up that way for me. I don't know what the next person is doing, but you're not going to show up that way for me. Unless there are, um, and I can't even say that because no, you're just not going to show up that way for me. Because even if there were numerous people that had the same Zodiac sign, they're going to go off of your rising. Okay, you and that other person, chances are you don't have the same rising. Okay, so if you're a Leo, your boyfriend's cheating on you with a Leo, but you're a Virgo rising, then Virgo is going to pop up when it's talking about you. She's a Scorpio rising, so Scorpio is going to pop up when they're talking about her. Okay, so that's how that works. All right, but you're not going to show up as another sign if it's not your rising. When it comes to the moon signs, a lot of people, you know, they say, well, my moon or my Venus is here. Venus just represents a great majority if you were born in between a certain years and you'll probably pop up as Leo Venuses or, you know, Capricorn Venuses that, that has nothing to do with it, but your moon symbolizes what you were in a past life. So if I was to look at your moon card, your moon sign, it would show me what happened in the past life. And a lot of times I can see uh, two individuals by their moon signs, you know, what they were in a past life. Like if they were a uh, catalyst, karmic soulmate, twin flames, that sort of thing. OK, so I don't focus on the moon. I focus on the sun and the rising sign. The rising is where you're going. The sun is the makeup. It's kind of like the vehicle that you're occupying. All right. But the rising is the karmic energy that you need to take care of right here, right now on the planet. OK, so it's the new lessons that you're making for yourself right now. OK, so I just wanted to get that out because a lot of people come to me and they're confused by that. They're like, OK, well, my Venus is here and my moon is here. I don't need neither one of those. Give me your rising and your sun sign. That's what I need, okay? Especially if you have a bunch of people in the same element. Give me your sun and your rising of those people in you. That's all I need from you, okay? And your questions, of course, all right? So we have an individual that is coming up on an opportunity, your fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, and depending on which person was the karmic partner, whether it was an earth sign or whether it was a fire sign like yourself, you're coming up on an opportunity. So you need to be at a certain area before you make it to this point okay so if you haven't already i'm telling you right now book for a reading i'm not this is not clickbait okay i'm keeping it 100 with you if you have not already booked me for a personal reading because there's a shift that's going to happen between december and the new year okay so if you haven't already and you've been single for a long time and you haven't booked me for a reading get your fucking money up linda okay Sorry for the curse, and I curse all the time. It's just me, guys. I, I I don't really pay attention to it. I don't even know it's coming out of my mouth. I've been cursing so long, so please don't get offended. If you are offended, I apologize. I do. I really sincerely do. But that's just the way I talk, okay? Um, it's not a bad word to me. It's kind of like trendy. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, um, if you have not booked me for a personal reading, you've been single for a very long time, you don't understand your, un you know, your, your lesson that you're trying to learn. And you're a fire sign, 
Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, been single for a while. There is a shift that's going to happen between the months of December and January. I don't know anything about astrology. Okay, I don't really use astrology. But some astrologists may tell you that something big is going to happen between December and January. Maybe it's a fucking retrograde or maybe something's coming out of a certain planet. I don't know, Linda. I just know I'm following the energy and the pattern of the cards. Okay, so something is about to come up and you need to be equipped. You need to be ready to jump on board. Okay, for those of you that have been single for a while, you want to get into love. You want love to come your way. And you have these two partners that are in your life in some way, shape or form. Okay, you got an ex, baby father, husband, baby mama, wife, ex. Okay, that is a earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, or they are a Leo, Sagittarius. Hit me up for a personal reading. You're going to need it, okay? Especially if you've been single and you want to find love, okay? This Knight of Swords <clears throat> going up against the Six of Pentacles. This is urgent energy. This is urgent. This is about you being prepared, taking on a just cause, okay? And moving very fast because it's only going to last probably about 30 days, okay? And it's 30 days. If you want to find yourself in love for the new year, then you need to be equipped and you need to be ready for that. Okay, we need to make sure that all of this energy is all dissipated. The six of coins, when you see the six of coins, nine times out of 10 or 10 out of 10, it's talking about karmic energy. Okay, the things that you've done in the past coming back um, for you, or maybe you got screwed over in the past. Okay, and now this time around, you want to reap the benefits of sacrificing yourself the past lifetime, then you need to be prepared with the Knight of Swords. Okay. And if it means trampling over someone's heart, it is what it is. All right. You got to do what you got to do. People, you know, they get frustrated with me, but I need to tell you this. God wants you to be selfish. Okay. Because if you're not selfish, if there's not an element of selfishness in your life, then what happens is you're living your life for other people and you're never happy. So you're going out here and you're helping others and you're suffering and you're not happy Okay, and you're not in a relationship, but you're helping everybody else to come together. So that doesn't please God. What pleases God is when you follow your heart. So if your heart says, listen, Linda, you've been sitting in this house for two weeks. You need to find love. Let's go out to this party. Let's go out to meet somebody. Okay, there's nothing wrong with that. And then for some of you others that um, listen to my readings and I say, okay, well, this looks like this is twin flames or this looks like this is life partners. That doesn't mean that you're supposed to cut everybody off out of your life and just wait on this twin flame or life partner. That's a whole nother story in itself. If you're doing that, hit me up for a personal reading. Okay. Cause you should not be doing that. All right. You need to be ready, equipped when this opportunity comes to you. Aries, Taurus, Aries, Capricorn, if you are involved with these individuals, you need to hit me up for a personal reading, especially my twin flame, Aries and Capricorn, because there is a vertex that's coming up between December and January, and you need to be equipped for that, okay? So for those of you that had lost your partner around April, if you scroll back down to my videos, I usually don't delete my videos, but um, if you scroll back down to April and you were in the vertex for April for um, Aries and Capricorn, and you guys separated in the month of June, July, okay? It's coming back around again. You need to be prepared. Hit me up for a personal reading. It's, it's better sooner than later, okay? I'm gonna tell you that. You are you can do whatever you wanna do. Some of you, you don't have the money. Be careful, you know, with your funds. Absolutely be careful with your funds, all right? Do not book me and go broke and not be able to pay your bills. I don't, I don't want that. Don't do that, okay? I can feel that energy when you get on the phone with me. Don't do that, all right? <clears throat> if you have the money, book a personal reading, even if it's 30 minutes, whatever you can do at this time, but do not go above your means, okay? I'm not the church. I'm not here to collect your coins and you can't pay your lights and you're sitting in the dark. No, Linda, no, okay? Don't do it to yourself, all right? But for those of you that this message is for and you do have the money, it's probably for you. But if you don't have the money, then the message probably doesn't pertain to you anyway. You have to learn how to trust spirit, trust yourself, and trust that everything works out according to plan. Okay? But there is a big thing that is happening for um, my Aries and Capricorn for December going into January. 
And also there's a really big thing for Sagittarius in Sagittarius or Sagittarius in Leo, December in January. So if that's you, just to give you a little hint, Aries, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, or Sagittarius in Leo. Hit me up. Definitely. Okay? Because you're going to be included in this little situation that's going on. Okay? Now, in the event that you miss that, let's say you miss it. You don't book Bella for a reading. You just go by your own accord. Chances are you're going to be waiting. I have the Knight of Coins going up against the Seven of Coins. That is the worst fucking cards of the tarot that can ever come out. Okay, because that means waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. I mean, it's just, it, it's years, okay? It, it's not days, it's not weeks, it's not months, it's years, okay? When you put the Knight of Pentacles with the Seven of Pentacles, it is waiting for years, all right? So some of you could be single for years, all right? Um, especially if you're not ready and equipped to move into this opportunity. I'm going to be real with you. I'm going to just throw it out there. You have the Three of Wands coming up against the Ten of Wands. For those of you that I am communicating with, your partner may be coming from a distance. So if you have these elements that I just talked about and you know your person live out of town, this is going to pertain to you. All right. So this is just kind of like a little clue that I'm throwing out there. The three of wands, the ten of wands, they're coming. They may be coming with a lot of shit on their plate, but they're coming. And they're coming from a distance. Or maybe they started up a situation out of town that's going to be on your plate when they come back. You need to be prepared for that. All right? Because you need to make sure that you understand divine partnerships. I get a lot of people that want to be in twin flames. They want to be in life partners. But they don't really understand the essence of that divinity. They don't really have the strength or the capacity to carry such an important, uh, valuable relationship. Okay, as a divine partnership, a twin flame, a life partner, karmic soulmates. I mean, those are very important lessons and it takes a while and it needs to be done right. And if it's not done right, then there is a possibility of demotion. I've seen demotion. So I'm not going to say something that I have not seen in the cards already. Demotion is very real. It has happened to a lot of people because they made the wrong decision or they said the wrong thing. They pushed their partner away. They tried to control it. And then when her partner came back, um, they pretty much screwed everything up. And now they're waiting for years. All right. So that is the message that I have for you. Okay. Do like, share, comment below. Um, ultimately, subscribe if you haven't already. If this is not your situation, you have a friend that went through it, especially to my clients. Those of you that book me. I have clients that book me week by week and you know who you are. Okay, you know who you are, Linda. Listen, you book me all the time. You have a sister that's, this is their story. It's not your story this week. Okay, if you book, if you get your sister to come to me or your friend, make sure they mention your name so you can get the discount. There is a discount that comes with those of you that have booked with me already and you send someone else to me. You get a discount. People will tell you, yes, and it's sweet. Trust me, the discount is sweet. So you better tell that person that you didn't send to me to mention your name, okay? Let them know. Mention my name. Bella knows me. I go to her all the time, or I've seen her before. They mention your name, I'll hit you up right away. As soon as they book their rating, they pay for it, I'm going to hit you up right away. I'm going to send you a coupon, all right? It's going to be an invoice. You can use it whenever. All right. Those of you that have been with me for a while, you know how I get down. OK. Anyway, guys, remember you were thinking it, but I'm going to say it. My puppy's doing some weird noises. I know y'all heard that weird shit. So she talked anyway. Um, I love you so much. I do. OK. And I'll probably be back with another. This could be you. I'm on a roll today and be on a roll with me. I don't know what else to do. I had a death in my family. My uh, bishop uncle passed away and um. It was very heartbreaking for me. He was one of my favorite uncles. Uh, a lot of wisdom went into that. And it's a very sad time for me. But I don't know anything else to do. When when I hurt, I just, I record. <laughs> That's when I record the most, when I'm hurt. Okay. So I love you guys. I hope this resonated with your situation. I hope it gave you some clarity. And if not, look out for the next one. Until next time. You were thinking it. <laughs> but I'm going to say it. Okay, Linda.